Hello, Garth Vegan here, back with another episode of War on the Sea. Last time we found this battleship task force with a couple of cargo ships that we want to take out. We will primarily attack the cargo ships with the Vals and maybe the Toryus if necessary. And then we'll take the Kates and the Mavises and uh, use them against the battleship. We do have some Donrus on the way. Um, we'll see if they can get there. The, I think somebody is almost out of fuel. I can't remember who it was. Toryus? Yeah, Toryus don't have much fuel left. We'll go ahead and let them try to make it here and see if they can uh, before it's time to make our strike. Let's see. He is moving, so let's go ahead and move with him, just so we don't lose sight of him. Okay. There we go. Come on, Don Roos, get up here. If we get the Don Roos in, we might be able to do some strikes against the cargo ships as well you're just going back to base you're not doing anything you're stuck Jake come on over as well all right let's get these valves head on up this is this is micromanagement hell right here what this is Micromanagement hell. Okay. Am I afraid I'm going to lose them? Absolutely. I absolutely am. I have lost too many task forces to not be afraid of that. Okay. Oh, there goes the tour use. Okay. Let's go ahead and go in. And we'll see what we got. All right, the I-15 is not too far away either. So let's go ahead and get their scope up. We might be able to finish off that battleship. Let's see. There they are. Oh, Mavis. Honey. You're in the way, honey. Okay. You just fly on out here. All right, Kates. I want you to fly out this direction and then down. And go ahead and speed up and hit the deck. This direction and down. Speed up and hit the deck. This direction and down. Speed up and hit the deck. Okay. Everybody got him. Mavis is going to get out of there. like so. Vals. Vals are going to go after the cargo ships. So I'm going to just let them spin in place at the moment until the Kates get into position. Then we'll bring the Vals and the Kates in at the same time. Okay. Tour use. I don't know if I want you to do anything, honestly. I'm going to save you to pick off any stragglers if that need arises. Alright, so Vals are going to go after number one and number five. Kate's and Mavis are going to go after number four. The submarine, which is a long way away, 34,000 yards. She's going to surface. She's going to run after number four. Who is a New Mexico? I remember that. New Mexico. There she is. All right. Let's do this. Everybody shooting at that Mavis. She may not make it. May not make it. She spawned in a little close. All right. 
Nobody's shooting at the uh, I-15, right? No. He's good. He's too far. Although just within range of the guns. I have to be careful of that. Hopefully they don't, they don't know he's there. Alright. Let's go ahead and speed up. Okay. They're pretty much done shooting. There you go. Good. Okay. He might go into shooting range. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is where we need to make a decision. Should I branch some Kates in from this direction and from this direction? I think I should. Get some uh, get some cross torpedo fire going there. So you guys go ahead and circle here. And we're going to let the other two groups go on in. Target the New Mexico. Everybody target New Mexico. That is your target. Alright. As soon as those other Kates get close to their destination. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and have one Kate circle right here. The other ones will go in with the Mavises. I'm going to tell these guys to go ahead and attack. They got further to go. The Vals. I'm going to get them queued up. Going after number five. Number five. Number five. All of those Vals after the cargo ships? Yeah. I don't trust Vals. Plus we're going to lose some Vals in this attack. I just know it. So. Alright. They're on route. Kate's attack. You attack. Mavis, attack. Uh, attack. <laughs> Alright, I think the Vals will get here first, which is good. That's what I want. We're going to start drawing the fire. Then the Kate should be able to come in with less fire. I hope. Might be a little bit early on the Vals. A little bit early, maybe. I have to slow these Kates down before they get on their run, though. Otherwise, they won't have a good run. Alright, Vals. Do your thing, Chicken Wing. Vals are going to go after the cargo ships. If they don't have cargo ships, they can't land troops and supplies and things on Malaita and uh, cause more trouble. So, that's my primary target really. The battleship is just, uh, they're extra. They are extra. Alright, Vals, do it. Do your thing. They're diving. diving bombs away one valve out and that was weak that's why you have to have lots of valve attacks on them. okay Kate's slow it on down I don't know what 150 or so let's see okay Oh, somebody just got hit. Alright. Got some good hits out there on the edge. Uh, okay. We're good. Yeah. I was going to say, did we not attack the center one at all? Nice. Alright, he's going down. Center valves are going after him. number one. Mavis is coming in after the battleship. They're primarily focusing on the valves. That's good. One cargo ship is down. Torpedoes are away. K 
Kate and Mavis are egressing. Kate's are coming in. Lots of torpedoes in the water. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Nice. 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 Lots of good hits. Lots of good hits. Oh my god. Holy cow. That was a successful torpedo run right there. I don't know if we could have done any better than that. Let's see what we got. Torpedo strikes. How many struck? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven torpedo strikes. Eleven torpedo strikes. Lost a few valves. Lost a few cates. Number one is sinking. Okay, so we got both cargo ships. That's good. New Mexico. <clears throat> Let's check her status report. Critical, critical. But she is not looking good, folks. No, sir. No, she is not. Let's get a nice screenshot on that. Look at that. Man. Oh, and she is going down! She is going down. Yes. Objective completed. That was a successful run, folks. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Tour user just uh, pooting around. Thinking about attacking a destroyer, but probably not going to. We're going to leave them off and uh, keep them around. Keep them around. All right. <clears throat> so, we have achieved our objective today with this airstrike. So, that's good. Let me just make sure that he truly is sunk. Yes, he is. Truly sunk. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So now, everybody except Tor Juice can go home, but he, why is he, oh, he's already going home. Okay. Right. Everybody RTB then. Uh, Mavis, actually, you can, uh, it's too late. I already told him to RTB. You'll be, I'll be fighting him the rest of the time. I try to tell him to come back. All right. Vals, RTB. We'll let the Don Rouge come on in because they, uh, might be able to get a, uh, hit on those cruisers. And the I-15 as well might be able to get some hits on the cruisers. Let's clean up some of these markers. Okay. I want to keep that one there because I'm going to patrol around that area. Let's take a look at Malata. How we doing here? We're good. Guadalcanal ready for another shipment of engineering and fuel. Do we have anybody en route already? This guy's going back to Rebel. Zuikaku, I forgot about her. She's coming back down to join the task force. And this guy is coming with more supplies and engineering and troops. All right, good. Ooh, got a little scout plane down here. From what? From what, you're asking yourself? That's what you should be asking yourself, because that's what I'm asking myself. All right. From what indeed? Another Bogue? Nah, it's gonna be cruisers and battleships and or whatever. Oh, here they are, okay. They are here. And so are we. Don Rue. Come on down, my friend. Time for you to do a little bombing run. Maya ready to launch aircraft. Who's the Maya? I don't know, but I-15 needs to go and go into a tactical to get a good strike. Okay. Scope up. Oh my god, she's right up amongst... Holy cow. This is a bad, bad place to be. Okay. Let's go ahead and target this <clears throat> cruiser here. Who is this? Uh, let's see. Looks like Nolans. Nolans, Nolans, Nolans. All right. All right, all right, all right. This guy's gonna be in trouble. Let you go in, just go down two knots, turn hard right. Be a miracle if this destroyer don't see her.
Is Don Ruse on? Nope. Not quite. This is a bad this is a bad setup right here. Maybe I can get a shot off. Yep, he sees me. Alright, let's just get out of here. That's a bad setup right there. <clears throat> I was robbed. I was robbed. Alright, you go ahead and go away from him just a little bit here. That's too bad. We could have picked somebody off there. May have to wait just a moment before they come back onto the screen due to the, the insane 30 minute timer or whatever it is. Really annoying. There they are. Okay. Don Ruse, come on down. Alright. Going to tactical. Okay. I-15's giving chase, but probably not going to be able to do anything. Yeah. They are returning back home with their tails between their legs. Alright. These guys are fighting <clears throat> that scout. What is your armament? Right now. Didn't say. I guess let's go after, uh, one of these cruisers. Yeah. Go after another number one, I guess. Or we could go after the number two and not have to fly over anybody. Let's go that way. Go that way. Alright. <clears throat> go on, go on, go on. Okay. We got some big bombs, so. We'll fly in after this guy. Number two. This I-15 is going to get le left in the dust. Yeah, I waited too long to engage with the last one so they would spawn in too close. I probably could have shot and maybe maybe they could track that would have been a wild bearing change for those torpedoes though okay let's go up to number two please there you go number two get on it all right here we go we'll do some high level bombing See how we do. I've got. I don't have high hopes on the success of this run. I don't have high hopes at all. Okay. There they go. <clears throat> Coming in. I've got high hopes. High hopes. Yeah, I'll be dropping. Oh. How oh, did that count as a hit? I guess it did. Okay. Oh, and I lost one. Darn.
Ah, oh, well. What can you expect from high level bombing, you know? Minor damage. Okay. You did your best, Don Roos. Okay. So. Where are these high boosts coming from? What are you guys doing? They showed a patrol, patrol rope down there, but then they're stuck up here, so it's very strange. All right. These guys are in good shape. These guys are in good shape. I guess we're all just going to be waiting now. Waiting for something to happen. All right, so let's, uh, let's get this guy ready to intercept these guys if we can. Hopefully he'll come right down through this path and get intercepted by I-9 here. That's the hope. That's the hope. Alright, Guadalcanal's got her birds back. Shokaku's got her birds back. Should I go ahead and bring Shokaku with some... Uh, Cause she's gonna about she's about to get swap out with that Suikaku. So should I go ahead and just launch our one last flight of birds? Guess we will. Bring the Kates out. There we go. Kates gotta launch first because they can fly longer than the Vals. I'm gonna give the Vals time to. Or give the carrier time to get ready for another launch. Ah. It's going to tactical with I-19 here. Ooh. This is great. This is good for us. Only 30% visibility. Okay. Target number two, which is... A what? Light cruiser. Oh nope, it's Pensacola. Okay. All right, target that Pensacola. Turn hard to the right. Gonna let it run right into us. All right, ten thousand yards. Very good. This is gonna be a good kill right here. I can tell. Well, the bad thing is, the choppy water might expose our conning tower, and we're more likely to be seen. Okay. Ironically. Okay. All six, one degree spread. Down to three knots. Although there's no way they're going to be able to hear us in all this ruckus. Alright. There we go. All straight. Rudder midships. Don't see them just yet. Let's go ahead and speed up time. I'm going to close just a little bit to the right. On an intercept. There they are. There we go. Okay. As we're coming into more clear view, we should start building up our solution a little quicker, I think. A little closer, closer. May have to get like within 2,500 yards to get a good solution. Alright. Wow. That's, a, that's some nasty weather. And we're not getting much of a solution going here. 
I might just go three degree spread and just fire it in there. Spray and pray as you as they say. I'll wait for 2,500 yards and we'll let a rip tatered ship. I hope that gives me enough time to get out of here. <laughs> now nah, we'll go back down to two degrees. I think we'll be all right. We've got a 68 percent. I think we're going to be okay. We'll sink the Pensacola. I'm almost positive. She's only got 12 torpedoes left. Okay. She's done a lot of work already. Alright. We're ready. Well, we're still getting the solution built up just a little bit, so... Should I wait just a little bit longer? 2,000 yards? Boy, you're risking it. Alright. Fire. Run silent. Dive, scope down, maintain course though. I'm going to patch right under him. All right, there goes the fish in the water. Let's see what we get, if anything. We may all miss. Oh no, that's not going to be a miss. That's a delicious, delicious hit right here. Oh man. Jesus. That was brutal. She's going down at that. My God. Yeah. She going to die. She gonna die. Yes, sir. Down, down, down. Recapitating? No, we're not. Okay. She gone. All right, let's get out. Boom. Nice. Let's get out of here before they decide to cause me some trouble. Boom! One down. Okay. That's good. Here comes the Kates. They're going to come after the other Shokaku launch aircraft valves. Come on down. Jake's. Fly out this way. Okay. Mavis's, of course, don't have armament now, but it's all good. Uh, who who did that strike? Was that I nine or the? That was I nine, wasn't it? Okay, come on down here. They're down here. Or was it the I fifteen? No, it's I nine. It had to be the I nine. Jake, come on down. Yeah, it was. Okay. I got a little mixed up there. Okay. Come on down. Let's see if we can finish these guys off. Oof. It's going to be hard finding them. be hard finding them. Might run out of daylight. Before we find them. Jake's heading back. Maybe this. See if you can find these guys. Oof, that's some heavy cloud cover. It'd be a miracle if we find these guys. 
Be a miracle if we find them. I gotta be heading for New Hebrides. Keep flying. Keep flying. Oh, did we lose them? That's a bummer. Surely they couldn't have got this far. Yep, we lost them. All right, let's just go. Let's just run in with the valves and just see if we can spot something in the dark rain. Oh my god! We did find them. Holy cow. We found something. Now oh, this is them. This is them. That's it? Yeah, two destroyers and a cruiser. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Kate's. Number one is your man. Number one's your man, Kate. Bows. Number one's your man, too. There we go. Did we say this is the New Orleans? Believe so. Believe so. Alright, Kate's are going to circle down. Bows are going to start uh, proceeding to target. Hopefully by the time... Vals get there. Kates will be ready to proceed as well with our torpedo run. We're gonna mash this cruiser into the sea here. Mash? You mash cruisers? That's right. That's right. Mash cruisers. Ugh, sorry for the yawn. Okay. Wasn't really a yawn. It's more of a stretch. Whatever. All right. Poor little destroyers are gonna go home all by themselves. They've had so many friends to begin with. I really like that angle of attack these Kates are on here, to tell you the truth. I'm not gonna lie. It's not ideal. Can we uh, just come out here like this? Come in at an angle just a bit. All right, there's the valves going in. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to cross over that destroyer, which I do not like. But it's all in the day's work. Gate pilots. All right, here we go. Valeries are coming in. Come on, Valeries. Lost one. Two. Got some hits. All right, fish are in the sea. Got some good hits. Kate went down. Oh yeah. Very nice. Oh my god. Holy cow. Brutal. I lost a lot of planes in that. I would lose a few, but man, I didn't expect to lose so many. That's okay. It is what it is. Victory comes at a cost. Victory comes at a cost. Alright. We have another victory. A costly one, though. More costly than our other one, surprisingly. Um, I mean, 
cost to uh, win ratio there. Let's get these guys going back to base. And uh, yeah, RTV with them. Mavis, uh, I guess you can RTV as well. I don't care about the destroyers. So we're gonna let them go and we will speed up time just a little bit and get ready to, can you launch your aircraft? Your Glenn here. There you go. Why don't you have your Glenn up anyway? Oh, he has no aircraft to launch. I lost, he lost his Glenn. Okay. Poor Glenn, he is dead. All right, very good. So now we're gonna come on back up. We got Shokaku is gonna stay here until Zuikaku gets here. They'll swap out. These two destroyers will escort Shokaku back to base and all will be well and right with the world again okay all right so now we are ready to manage cargo oh actually we're not not quite close enough yet okay not quite close enough yet and how about now there we go there are operations are also available let's take a look right quick before we finish up this episode what we got here we're gonna need lots and lots of supplies to build up Guadalcanal's infrastructure so we're gonna go ahead and grab all of that we'll grab the fuel that's available and the engineering that is available there we go and more supplies all right we're gonna head these guys back on down to Guadalcanal and uh, yeah I think that's gonna be it for this episode I hope you have enjoyed it if you did be sure and hit that like button I'll we'll probably have a couple more episodes of this series before we call her quits Guadalcanal I'm thinking bring her up to level 3 airfield and just call it quits uh, the rules say that I have to get Port Moresby and Milne Bay but I, I, I don't know I don't really care about doing <laughs> about doing that, honestly, um, because uh, well, we're just uh, we're smashing them. We're smashing them. Although I have lost four hundred aircraft, four hundred aircraft lost. That's an incredible amount. They've only lost two hundred seventy-seven, but they've lost eighty-five ships. So, yeah. Um, we we have uh, inflicted heavy heavy losses on uh, on them, but they have uh, they have cost us in uh, in lots and lots of airplanes for sure, lots and lots of airplanes for sure. So I hope you have enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.